All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai for his not understanding of the gospel of this truth. Um, I just watched this uh, video here um, on uh, the internet. Um, I'm going to use the uh, background of that video as my background because um, I got to watch what I say, you know, based on uh, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I wanted to handle this subject uh, because they went off with what they were uh, doing, or I should say saying. Um, let me just pull up the scripture they were um, using to say this because it was one of those atheist, you know, guys who, you know, they always try to be slick and, you know, say, well, you know, it just goes off here or goes off here or over there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just wanted to... Uh, show uh, something real quick. I'm gonna read over this the verses that they used to, you know, make their claim, quote unquote. Um, but then we're gonna just, you know, explain why it is, um, you know, false in the proper interpretation of the scripture. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the Book of Numbers, chapter 31. And we'll start at verse 9. It says, And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian, captives, and their little ones, and took the spoil of all their cattle, and all their flocks, and all their goods. And they burned all their cities wherein they dwelt, and all their goodly castles and fire with fire. And they took all the spoil and all the prey, both of men and of beast. And they brought the captives and the prey and spoil unto Moses and Ele Eleazar the priest and to the congregation of the children of Israel unto the camp at the palms of Moab which are by Jordan near Jericho and Moses and Eleazar the priest and all the princes of the congregation went forth to meet without the camp and Moses was wroth with the officers of the host with the captains over thousands and captains over hundreds which came from the battle and Moses said unto them why have ye saved all the women alive behold these calls the children of, it, of Israel for the council of Balaam to commit trespass, trespass against the Lord and the matter of Peer and there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord now therefore kill every male among the little ones and kill every woman that have known man by lying with him. And here's the main point that they bring up. Verse 18. But all the woman children that have not known man by lying with him keep alive for yourselves. Let's read the verse again. Numbers chapter 31. In verse um, 18. But all the woman children. That have not known a man by lying with him. Keep alive for yourselves. Now um, by observation. By you know reading it verbatim so to speak. I understand why that you know appears to um. To, to you know support you know pedophilia in the in the Bible however this is a false interpretation of the text okay it's taken out of context um, it's simply the interpretation of the chapter or I should say of that verse simply means that they would um, they keep the these you know, yeah the woman children it would keep them alive so that you know later on you know when they became a woman, they would then be able to uh, sleep with them. Okay, and I have the law here in the scriptures. Let me just pull it up real quick. Uh, okay. Got that there. Let me just go over here to Corinthians. All right, the scriptures are clearly against, um, you know, pedophilia. Um, 
because it says right here I'm going to show you um, that they would have to wait to sleep with those children until they hit sexual maturity and then they would be allowed to sleep with them because that's when you know a child becomes a adult um, anyway uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse uh, 36 says but if any man thinks that he behaves himself uncommonly towards his virgin if she pass the flower of her age and needs so require let him do what he will he said if not let them marry now what is the flower of her age i'm going to show you if you go back to the book of leviticus okay uh go to the chapter 15 and if you go to verse um 24 it says and if any man lie with her at all and her flowers be upon him he shall be unclean seven days and all the bed wrong he lies shall be unclean right so clearly um, the flowers of her age is talking about a woman's first menstrual cycle okay so this was the law that um, yeah, these men here these Israelites abided by okay so they um, would not sleep with those children the, the Midianite children um, as it, it appears as if it's saying that however going by the customs of the scriptures that would be wicked because the scriptures say that you can't sleep with, um, you know, somebody who has not yet, you know, had their first, you know, menstruation, as I clearly demonstrated. So, um, you know, this is uh, clearly the interpretation of this uh, text that they falsely, you know, try to use to try to, you know, demonize the the, the, the scriptures inside your um, but clearly, you know, that answers the, uh, the question there. You know, so if any atheist watches this video, you know, you feel free to try to refute this. But, you know, you ain't really going to be able to. Um, and you don't even believe in the book to begin with. So, I mean, what's the point of even, you know, going back and forth? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I just wanted to do a little video yet, uh, real quick because, you know, I didn't see anybody else, you know, calling that out. So I just wanted to call that out and to, you know, expose that video for going off and promoting a false uh, teaching uh, in the scriptures. Okay, so, you know, I hope that was an edifying lesson um, without being said, I'm going to say shalom.